Well, there are some opportunities in life that simply cannot be missed. And right now, our competitors are all around the Northern Territory ticking off their experiences of a lifetime. The competition is heating up. The point tallies are getting bigger and bigger. It's time to welcome you back to the checklist. This is nice. Oh, look. Yeah. You have to hike to the top of the waterfall when we have a challenge waiting for you. It's quite green. And the vegetation's totally different to how I expected, yeah. but it's, it's totally peaceful and beautiful. Oh, cool, we've made it to the waterfall. Yeah, I can hear it. This is just amazing. And the water's so crystal clear. Yeah. You can see all the fish in there. Yeah. There's no sign of the challenge. No. Well, we better get moving then. All right, let's yeah. go. Hello, boys, how are we going? Very well, thanks. Uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to explain about the didgeridoo. We get to play the bamboo before we play the wooden ones. If we're not good on the bamboo, we're not allowed to play the wooden one. <laughs> <laughs> when you come across a traditional Aboriginal person playing a didgeridoo, you will never see him by himself. He'll always have a second person playing a clapstick. This is my type of instrument. It's like a triangle, but better. These four colours, um, they're all traditional colours. Red is um, symbolising the Mother Earth, and the black is the Aboriginal skin colour. Yep. The yellow is the actual sun, yep. and the white is the actual the sunlight that's shining down on us. So now you're part of the clan. We loved meeting Graham, he was such a legend. We learnt so, so much awesome stuff. Look at this. This is unreal. Look at the colour of the water. The water is crystal clear. I just want to jump in. <laughs> Should really take a photo of it. Yeah. Aha! Frisbees. Oh. For this challenge, you have to throw the frisbee and try and get into the rock pool. The frisbee challenge was a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some points, Matt. Oh, oh. that was a shocker. All right, that's one. One. Oh, oh. good one. Oh, oh good no. One. That's in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Oh. oh. You can get it in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we did well. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. All right. Oh yes. my goodness. Six out of ten, out so of that's 10. good. That's not too bad. No. So hopefully in the next challenge we can do better. Yeah, we've got spears here and we've got a woomera. Yep. So a woomera go along with a spear. Just like this. It's all in your wrist. Okay. Let's see how well you've been listening. <laughs> Contestants have to throw the spear ten times at the target. One point for each hit of the target. We can do this. No, we can do this. Okay. We can do this. Don't second guess us. Sort of no, we're going to do this. Cheers. There's that kangaroo. Just take it out. That's just, just take it out. Yes! Yes! Woo! One now. We need some bacon. Yes! 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 Five out yes! of five. And now it's your go. Oh, come no. on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yes! yes! I hit it! Yes! Oh! Yes! We got eight, eight out of ten. ten. Oh, what? Your next experience is, is to master some, some cattle. cattle. Preparing you for when you reach your next battle. Good evening, guys. I'm Bob Taylor. Welcome to your culinary experience. Tonight, uh, you'll be trying some kangaroo and you'll be trying some wattle seed and you'll try bush tomatoes, all, from, all local from here. This is actually cooked more towards medium. Yeah, what do you think? Really good. I can eat this all day. <laughs> it's great. Richard? I've never had kangaroo that tender. So this is the bush tomato, high in vitamin C, absolutely delicious. I'll try one just to prove it. Mm-mm. Oh, wow. 
squished tomatoes, you'd think it would be savoury, but it was actually sweet and then sour as well. For my home baked bread, olive oil with lemon myrtle, crushed up a wattle seed, nutty black pepper. That's nice. really good. Mm. Really great food, top food and typically Australian. He was really passionate about what he did and obviously it was very special and important to him. What you've got now is my classic Outback Hot Pot, which is beef, the sweet potato fritty you can see there has got salt bush in it. The patty's fantastic. Sitting around a campfire and listening to him talk about where everything came from added another element to everything we were eating. This culinary experience is like way better than I expected. I was really privileged to be a part of that actually, yeah, it was really good. Culinary experience. Next week on The Checklist, our teams muster up the courage Yeehaw! to take on the toughest challenges yet. But who's got what it takes to be crowned The Checklist champions? We can take these cows. Watch The Checklist only on Plus 7.